What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are going to be taking a look back. We're going to be taking a look back at the Pilot Metropolitan, which is this bad boy right here. Uh, these are some of the pens that I've had in my personal collection the longest. Um, we've got the Platinum 3776, the Aurora Optima, the Pilot Custom Heritage 823, Pilot Metropolitan, Lamy 2000, and the Pelican M805. These are all pens that we will be revisiting uh, in the coming weeks and months, um, but today we're going to be taking a look at the Pilot Metropolitan. Um, this pen, let me move these out of the way, this pen is uh, got quite a story for me. <laughs> it is actually the very first fountain pen that I ever had but not this one in particular. See, I purchased the um, all gray uh, Pilot Metropolitan from Amazon many years ago, uh, 2015, I believe, uh, or 14, 2014? Yeah, 2014. And I purchased that from Amazon uh, back before Amazon Prime was a thing uh, because you had to pay for shipping. And I thought that was really silly. I don't like to pay for shipping. Um, so Amazon had one of those, like, Hey, if you add like an extra, I don't know, it was like $8 or something like that. Uh, then you get for like shipping for free. And I believe this one cost me 11 at the time. Uh, and well, again, not this one particularly, but the gray one. Um, and so I was like, you know what? Heck, why not? It came up in a suggested random post. Um, so I bought it. And I've told the story many times, but I had a terrible experience when I first got it. Uh, when it came in, I popped the cartridge in with it that it came and I started writing and it was awful. It feathered, it bled, it ghosted, it was just awful. So I did what any millennial would do and I hopped onto the interwebs and came across many, many videos, but basically the entire Fountain Pen 101 series from Brian Goulet at GouletPens.com. Learned all about the pen ink paper combo, bought myself some good paper, and then voila, the rest was history. Um, fell down the rabbit hole dramatically. And as I did so, I thought, oh, I'm never going to sell my Pilot Metropolitan. It's the first pen I ever had. I just can't do it. It's sentimental. Well, a couple of years down the road, I got really snobby about my pens <laughs> um, and I wanted nothing but quote unquote the best. Uh, and I did sell it. Then I realized that that was silly and I shouldn't have because I missed having such a staple pen in my collection. So I bought a couple. I bought this one, uh, an orange one, a green one, a purple one. Like I had like the whole retro pop line. I have since sold all but this one because um, I do want one in my collection pretty much always, uh, but I just didn't need so many. I mean, there's really not that many nibs you can choose from. Uh, fine, medium, and broad is really all you've got. Uh, and I went with a medium nib uh, because that's the nib that I had originally. And I just thought it would go well. And I kept this one because while I know that they aren't birds, they look like birds to me. And I think that it's really cute. Um, so it's an all aluminum body clip just says Japan. It's a fairly basic clip, uh, but performs really nicely. Uh, it has some lines down there. And on the other side, this is Pilot. Then you've got the little centered deco band here, uh, and then it tapers down all aluminum. It is a snap cap, which is really nice, and it's a very firm, satisfying click. So you just pull that off. You've got the huge grip section. It's nice and long. It is pretty narrow, which is pretty much, um, people's complaints if they don't like it uh, it is a bit of a narrow grip section the body unscrews it's all aluminum body and i have a older pilot con 50 you get the squeeze bladder which i think is the con 20 um but you get the squeeze bladder with it i don't really like that um so i swapped it out um but you do get that you also get a um cartridge which is cool. Uh, and this whole thing is plastic. 
Okay, screw that back in. The feed itself is also plastic with the breather hole at the bottom. And then these little decorative fins, they really do nothing to uh, actually have the capillary action. And then you have their steel nib. Uh, like I said, this is a medium, but you can get fine and broad. Just as Pilot Japan, nothing too, too fancy. So it's very comfortably in my hand because aluminum, it does mean that there's a bit of weight to it, but not too much. Uh, aluminum is really that sweet spot for a lot of people and it does push to post very nicely. So this really is a great starter fountain pen. Um, I've done many videos on starter fountain pens between uh, Pilot and um, Lamy because people like to compare that. I much prefer the Pilot Metropolitan over the Lamy uh, Safari in particular in the All-Star if, uh, if I'm being fair. <laughs> so let's get down to writing. I'm at a very strange angle uh, so my writing's not going to be super neat, but we shall do the best we can. Okay. So let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. It makes it slightly grainy, but you know, it's okay. So it's nice and wet. This is not a super, super wet ink, but it's certainly not dry. Uh, it's just very, it's a nice and wet pen. I wouldn't say it's an absolute fire hose, but it is certainly wet. Um, the ink that I have in here is Leonardo Officina Italiana Torazzi Red Wine. I bought the sample clearly from penshelly.com. Uh, I like it a lot. It reminds me of um, Diamine Writer's Blood, uh, which I quite, quite like. The pen performs really nicely. No give, no flex. It is a solid steel nib, uh, but it's really, really nice. Reverse writing feels like absolute trash, so don't recommend that. Um, I have on my other pilots had a little bit better success with reverse writing than on this one, but it's, it's a it's a crapshoot, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, but honestly, like, there's no issues I've ever had with a Pilot Metropolitan. No hard starts, no skipping, no nothing. Uh, it's just absolutely solid. Uh, oops, sorry for shaking the camera there. It is absolutely solid. I highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, pricing for these bad boys are pretty much all over the place. Oops. Um... You know, I've seen them for as little as $13. I've seen them as high as like $30. So definitely uh, check around with your favorite retailers um, for local pricing. Um, because yeah, they're just, they're kind of all over the place, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, but, you know, sometimes it just is what it is. And uh, I, yeah, I absolutely recommend it. If you don't have one in your collection, uh, I think you should. Um, it's a great all around pen. It's absolutely solid. It's a great one to sort of just take with you wherever you go. It's a great one to introduce other people to. Um, yeah, it's just really, really, really solid. There's nothing that is like, oh my goodness, blow you away that you're gonna look at it and be like, this is absolutely astounding. Um, like, you know, when I look at my uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence, you know, this pen I can get sucked into for, for a long time looking at the material, but it's also like a billion dollars compared to this one. So, you know, you, you get what you get, uh, but for what you get, this is an absolute steal uh, for value and uh, performance. So definitely recommend, um, but have you used it before? Let me know in the comment section below whether you like it and would recommend it yourself. Uh, if you like the video, and haven't done so, do hit that thumbs up button, uh, leave a comment, hit the subscribe, new videos every Monday and Friday and the occasional rando on Tuesday. Uh, check out the description below for my Patreon if you want to help support me and what I do here. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to thank all of my VIP and above patrons. This was filmed uh, May 2nd, so if you don't see your name and you've just started supporting me, don't worry. It will appear as soon as I can update it. So we have Mr. Daniel Roddy. We have Elizabeth, Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Whaley Chang, Brian Law, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcore, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bianca Andrews, Bill Pemberton, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Subiwan Kenobi, which is just the best name. Um, she's actually presidential tier. Bianca Andrews, digitaltent.tech, and McCall Bennett Lawrence. Thank you all, regardless of the tier you choose. You will never know how much it actually means to me that you support me, my content, and what I do here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.